man, my heart is pounding, and it's just, it's not just because my paper due today is pretty soon, and I haven't, well, I haven't finished everything yet, I'm pretty close, but this is the most excited I've ever had for a uh, package, and I haven't even uh, cut it open yet, because I'm pretty sure I know what's inside, and it's going to be great. It's not green light, I mean, there's green light in it, and I'm super excited for them. Um, the two of the green light items I really, really love, but... Ooh, if you, I mean, obviously, if you read the video title, which I haven't decided on yet, you know what this is about. And I just hope it is what I think it is. Otherwise, nothing I just said will make any sense. I did get a new knife, not this one, which is still very good, but I got like an actual hobby exacto knife, which has been so, so, so sharp. But, okay, paper, more paper eBay seller really packed it well and let's see oh wow even more okay let's see which one oh I hmm I thought all of them come with a uh, like a plastic box but that's all right also um, hmm. all right I'll leave it to the side obviously that's the one I'm excited about I honestly hope it will be bit more down there green light hitched homes uh, my girlfriend think these um, um, trailers are really really cute and I 100% agree I'm excited to open up open up this one as well I'm gonna put it to the side though because that's not the main draw today another green light I am I've been really really looking forward to this one I've heard great things about this green light for GT you can see the flying buttress and you can see it you can see all the way through really really great and you can see like the brake um the wheel like the brakes inside the wheels it's actually a separate insert piece you can see it through the wheel as well don't know how well you can see the orange back here but it's there and finally let's see a auto world challenger cool 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 but Ooh, I've, I've, if you, if you are into collecting 164, surely this is a, uh, this is a brand slash line that brings out fear, elicits fear, but I mean, I'm joking, obviously, not really, but everyone has heard of this brand before, I'm sure. If not, you should look into it. I'm not saying you should get it, but you should definitely look into it. This is a Tomica Limited Vintage or TLV for short. And from everything I've heard, these guys do the best um, 164 ever. And before I actually go into this, and it's going to be a little different from what I usually do, I'm going to talk a little bit about expectations. So this thing in Japan, in Japan, in yen, this costs roughly uh, tw uh, the equivalent of 23 American dollars. And they usually get sold in America for at least 25, sometimes it can go to 30, and for some really, really desirable items, way much, which high, way higher than that. And I'm talking about these like tiny boxes, not like the buses or the um, fire trucks, that kind of stuff. No, just the basic ones. $23. And what are some of the other brands that are kind of this... Not necessarily top of the shelf, well, probably top of the shelf, right? Really, really good premium, proper 164. First of all, uh, I think Mini GT is very close. It's, this is roughly like a 10 to $15 model you can get. Very, very well done as well. They mostly do a lot of like supercars, sports cars, um, very different from TLV, which does, well, vintage. And the vast majority of them are vintage Japanese cars, a lot of stock vehicles some race cars as well silhouettes Le Mans for instance they did the Mazda 787B so it's it's a completely different feel that they are in but as far as supercars go I think Mini GT is the best and I love Mini GT I think it's gonna be like my bread and butter from here on out but Mini GTs are not always perfect I got this um, CRX I think just yesterday or a couple of days ago I love it but oh excuse me it's not perfect. For instance, you see all. Hmm, don't know how these things show up on camera. You can't see actually, which is too 
Mini GT's benefit, right? You might be able to see, yeah, you can see it now. It's properly focused. There is a line going down here. That's a production. Not a problem like a blemish. And you can maybe you can see like the base is a little bit too much to on this side. It's not perfectly um, centered. Like it's like small problems, but problems nevertheless. And especially when I'm looking at something that will cost upwards of $15, I think it's good to point it out. Another uh, brand that operates on this level will be um, Auto World, which does, well, for now, only American cars, but I think they do have Toyotas coming in. And I think production uh, quality goes, it's better than Mini GT, but uh, you can see here. And these things are usually for like $7, I think, right? I haven't seen it in store, but like online without shipping considered, it's usually roughly five, uh, roughly $7. And I'm going to talk, just spend like a few seconds talking about um, diminishing modular returns. I'm not expecting this to be twice as good as a Mini GT. That's just not how it works. I'm not going to expect it to be um, three times as good as a Auto World. Because the upgrade you get from like a $1 Hot Wheels car to a $5-$6 um, green light is huge. Uh, that, extra f that extra $5 is going to go into like incredible places. But at $5 from the green light, for instance, you get Auto World and well, it's going to be an increase in quality, but it's not going to be increase in quality, increase in details, but it's not going to be the same as the $5 you spent on upgrading a Hot Wheels to a green light. And similarly, uh, I'm sure TLV is going to have a lot more details in Auto World or um, Mini GT, but I'm not expecting it to be like twice as good. That's just not how it works. Now with that out of the way, I spent, um, I think the asking price was like $20 and there's like five dollars shipping but then i also got a uh, coupon on ebay so basically spent like say twenty dollars for it so i'm gonna consider it as basically release price right twenty three dollars it's close enough and let's see how it goes i mean i did complain a little about not having a uh, plastic wrapping or ooh, plastic box around it but uh, this box i think is still in main shape i wish it doesn't have this right here but that's honestly fine and out of this cardboard box you get your model and this is by the way I should have done it earlier but this is a Mazda RX-7 uh, 1991 I think this is an Ephony model yeah here Ephony RX-7 type R So this is my first time looking at it just the same as you guys and first thing you'll notice there's something in here actually yeah now this is one complaint I one thing I knew before I got it and it's basically one thing I know I was not going to like is that um in some cases TLV have parts you need to put it on yourself now you don't have to I'm not going to and it still looks good without it but uh, these come on a spruce so you have to get them out yourself and there is you can attach it on the door but you realize there's no marking or anything that tells you where sh you should put it and you have to glue it on and I feel like it's terrifyingly dangerous considering the price of these things and they offer zero help whatsoever but the good thing of not having a mark is that you can easily display it without having them on which I won't but um, Part of the concern maybe is that they'll break off in package or something, but I think that's one thing uh, Mini GT has got down to a T is that all of their side mirror are um, kind of soft rubber, so um, it can survive for a little bit. And these ones obviously aren't metal, but it's still like a solid plastic, so that might be make it a lot harder. And in the box we have the car itself. Proper, proper 164, true 164, meaning if you put it next to a um, Mini GT or Auto World, it will be exactly how big or small it is uh, supposed to be in relationship. And let's see. I am very obsessed with details, so I'm taking a look to see if there's anything I can pick out. 
like this is what I do to Auto World. I mean, GT, and I think especially since I'm paying like twenty some dollars for this, I do I should not see anything wrong with this. I think one thing you notice at first is how clear the windows are. Uh, Mini GT brands like Mini GT and Auto World does a very good job at making the windows clear, but the windows on this thing is pristine. It's perfect. And you see, um, these are plastic inserts here. These are plastic inserts here at the back. These obviously are painted, but th those are so tiny. Obviously, they're not going to put plastic inserts on. And on the base, let's see. Um, sorry, there's actually something there. Here, this is the right side up. Tomica, Tommy. Um, see here s equals to 164 this is one thing i really love about tomica and this is not just for tlv it's uh, on their every line they will tell you exactly what scale it is lv n 174 lvn meaning like tomica limited vintage neo so it's i think it's cars starting from like the 80s and everything uh, before that would be like just regular tlv but i'm not perfectly sure about that made in china and it's from 2018 and you can see how down here the exhausts are painted so this is very very nice and one of the things i've heard about tomica is um that the, all of their cars have suspension and shocks which is I'm gonna test out yep yep nice and it still rolls well it still rolls perfectly this is this is what i think is the advantage in companies like tomica and even hot wheels and Matchbox, of course, their premium stuff is not even close to the quality of this thing, but because these companies do have a basic range of toy cars, they know exactly how the rolling systems work. Companies like Johnny Lightning or M2 machines, their cars don't roll that well. I think partially is because it's not their wheelhouse. They're not the design models are not toys, and yeah, man, much better than major red cars. I mean. Chances are this will be the last TLV I get, unless I find something I absolutely love or one that's a lot cheaper than this, but I have to say. It's, actually, I'm not gonna say it's worth it, right? Everyone has to make the judgment for themselves, but as someone who is extremely picky about details, this thing is perfect. There's nothing that I've noticed here that it's not done as good as it can possibly be with the one exception being the um, side mirrors but like I said you can easily leave them out and it's no problem whatsoever it still looks great so yeah I think this thing is going to be a prized prized piece in my collection and I will have to agree with uh, everyone's judgment that these are at least so far the best 164 die cast models I've ever seen it's better than auto like better quality at least in auto world and better quality than mini gt although obviously auto world and mini gt offers some a lot of the other stuff that um tlv cannot uh fulfill right the classic american cars or the modern contemporary supercars tlv doesn't do that but as far as quality goes yeah there's a reason why these things are twice as expensive as these. And like I said about diminishing marginal returns, if you think $10 extra is worth it, getting like perfect details and incredible details as well as like just perfect production value, I think you'll love this. Yeah, that's my review. I am absolutely in awe. So this is TLV, my first look. Thank you for watching.